So let's look at uh, weak signal in strong interference. This is uh, estimating the weak signal. So this is a very practical problem, comes up in a lot of uh, 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 real world scenarios. A doctors, you go to a doctor's office, uh, the doctor puts the, puts the stethoscope and wants to see, maybe listen to a particular well, but, so that's the weak signal but it is also surrounded by the strong interference. So if suppose you only have one observation, then the best estimator is, and suppose in this case, let's say you have the uh, linear estimator, uh, then the best estimator is of course Rxy, Ryy inverse. In this case, Rxy is, since the signal and noise are uncorrelated, simply the signal power, and RYY is uh, signal and noise are uncorrelated, so sig sigma squared plus uh, sigma n squared. If you substitute that, it simply turns out that the <coughs> you just scale the data. That's the best thing you can do. Suppose now we bring in additional observation, which is uh, about the surroundings. So the idea is that, oh <coughs> so in the doctor's case, it would be, in addition to taking a uh, uh, listening to near the heart, you maybe move the stethoscope and listen to nearby areas, and consequently you have more observations. So you get the interference, but maybe a noisy version of the interference. So that would be the practical problem. In terms of oil explore exploration, uh, let's say you blast some dynamite, so waves go in and come back. So you have, you have put some sensors, you get uh, uh, data from, uh, it will be of this form, uh, maybe uh, the oil plus all sorts of uh, geological signals. Otherwise it is just that exp uh, the surrounding signals or the interference uh, associated with uh, weak noise. So if I, if I put the two data together, Y1 and Y2, uh, this will be, uh, of course, and you put in this model so I can write this as 1, 0, x plus uh, in this form. Uh, so here of course this is my desired signal. Uh, so R, Y, Y would be, we can just uh, do this. A. <coughs> so this would be sigma x squared 0, 0 uh, plus the noise covariance matrix which is in this case uh, uh, sigma n squared This will be the noise covariance matrix here. This is assuming that uh, no, the noise and the its own interference are uncorrelated. Uh, so of course this whole thing is, uh, so we can do RYY inverse here. This would be <coughs> sigma x squared uh, plus uh, Uh, sigma n squared, if you work out the mathematics, it will be, it will turn out to be uh, this form. And uh, so, and now if you substitute with Rxy, uh, Rxy of course is in this case is uh, Rxy is Rxx A transpose, which will turn out to be uh, sigma x squared one zero. Uh, so if I find uh, if I find the h in this case, which would be Rxy multiplied by Ryy inverse, would turn out to be a a row vector, a, a row vector, which is one over one plus some constant by one minus sigma, it will turn out to be <coughs> And uh, so uh, I have best estimator is going to be of course h multiplied by y. So the whole point is this will turn out to be some constant multiplied by y one minus another constant. 
multiplied by y2. This makes sense because y1 is remember of the form the weak signal plus the strong interference and y2 is the strong interference itself uh, uh, um, modulated by or uh, contaminated by another noise. So you can see what is going on. This is adaptive cancellation of the strong signal. So the, the, the problem or the best filter decides how much of the background to be subtracted from the uh, original data to, uh, to get a best estimate for the <coughs> weak signal. So this is also what is happening in the doctor's office because the doctor signals uh, listens to the weak signal plus interference then he listens somewhere else but then with years of training he is able to subtract out this uh, strong interference and then make a decision whether the reminder is or he puts it back again listens to y1 to see that this estimator is it uh, uh, is it a meaningful signal or it is just noise same thing in the oil exploration case so if you if you subtract out the adaptively subtract out a portion of the interference then what is remaining should be able to tell you whether that's oil or it's uh, something else or there is no oil so this is the adaptive cancellation of strong interference by making uh, by making use of multiple observations